morning, guys. It is time for the Ericaism of the day. Um, I was with my sister this weekend, uh, the Essence Music Festival, and on our flight back, we were talking about um, people that kind of put you on a pedestal, um, people who believe in you to the point that they don't believe in themselves, people that uh, replace you um, as their God. They don't know that they're doing that, um, but when they come to you before they come to God, they may be replacing you with their God. Um, and I, I don't, I don't like that at all. I don't like to feel that kind of energy where somebody feels like they won't make it without my opinions and without my decisions. Um, we're supposed to consult God in all our ways. And the Bible clearly says in Exodus 20 and three, thou shall have no other gods before me. Sometimes the other gods in our lives are not just people, they are things. You serve your knowledge. You feel so confident in what you know and what you do. You never question uh, the integrity of your words, of your intentions. Um, and sometimes it's easy for you to fall into a place of arrogance. I, do you know what I have? Look at the size of my church. Do you know what I've sold? Do you know what the audience does? When are you? Who are you glorifying? Does God get the glorify the glory out of that, or you? You have to be so careful. But when it comes to um, the issue of people, um, I believe in to getting counsel because there is great safety in the midst of counsel. I believe that I believe in having mentors, but I leave a, I believe a good mentor will direct you straight to Jesus. I believe a good um, teacher will always point you to the Father. Will always point you to the Word of God. Um, never towards revenge. Never towards self gain. Um, never towards trying to make themselves feel better because of how many people follow them or how many daughters or sons they have. Um, we are all daughters and sons of Jesus Christ, the King. I, my, I have three children and that's it. Um, because I don't want to feel like somebody worships me. You know what I mean? Like I'm not that kind of person. I don't need that. Some people need that. I need to, they need to walk in and people have to walk before them and check the room. And I, I don't need all of that. I'm not that kind of person. Um, but I try to make sure that I hold people accountable uh, for where they're directing their emotion and their need. And sometimes we direct our emotion and our need to a pastor or to our favorite artist, our favorite preacher that we look up to. Um, and instead of going to God first, we look up to see, well, is so-and-so preached on it? I'm going to see what he says. Uh, has so-and-so as a gospel artist talked about it? Let me see what they have said. What is God saying to you? Don't you replace nothing with the Lord Jesus Christ. You hear me? Don't put anybody in God's place. I'm not saying don't honor people, don't respect people, because I, I honor and respect my pastors and elders and people that I've grown up listening to, but I've never replaced their words with God's word. What is God word, God's word saying to me? Sometimes God has revealed something to you and said something to you, and everybody is saying something the exact opposite. Try the spirit by the spirit. Spend some time fasting and praying. Say, Lord, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm right or wrong. I need some counsel, but the final say is yours, Lord. Am I moving the wrong way? Am I doing the wrong thing? Am I going in the wrong direction because of the wrong motivation? You always have to check your heart. You know what I mean? Is it coming from a place of rejection? I've been re rejected so much in my life. So I need somebody to tell me I'm awesome all the time. Ah. Uh, Check it out. Check your heart. You know what I mean? That is my Erica-ism for the day. Don't replace God with people.